Understanding Surfboard Rentals, a guide for English learners. Hello and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, surfboard rentals. This is a common term you might encounter, especially in areas close to beaches or when planning a vacation. So, let's dive in and understand what it means and how it's used. The phrase, surfboard rentals, is made up of two main parts, surfboard and rentals. Let's look at each word. 1. Surfboard. A surfboard is a long, narrow board used for surfing. Surfing is a water sport where you ride on the waves in the sea or ocean. 2. Rentals. This word comes from rent, which means to pay for the use of something for a limited period. So. Rentals refers to things that can be rented. When combined, surfboard rentals refers to the service or place where you can rent surfboards. Now that we know what the phrase means, let's see how to use it in sentences. This will help you understand its practical application. 1. I'm going to the beach and need to find a surfboard rental shop. 2. Do you know how much it costs for surfboard rentals here? 3. They offer lessons in surfboard rentals for beginners. Notice how the phrase can be used to refer to both the service and the place offering the service. Understanding the context where surfboard rentals is used is crucial. It's commonly used in 1. Tourist areas, especially in coastal regions where surfing is popular. 2. Travel and vacation planning when discussing activities to do at a beach destination. 3. Sports and recreation discussions, particularly when talking about water sports. Being familiar with these contexts will help you recognize and use the phrase more effectively. I hope this explanation of surfboard rentals has been helpful and has added a new phrase to your English vocabulary. Remember, Understanding such phrases enhances your language skills and helps you communicate more effectively, especially in specific contexts like travel or sports. Keep practicing, and see you in the next video.